big part of your thesis, which I found convincing, hinges on a certain uh, ontological difference between the mitzvah and the blessing upon the mitzvah. They complement each other. They do slightly different things. If that is so, there's a danger. That's not a problem with your thesis. It's a problem with our practice. Uh, and it sort of dovetails to the critique of Kava. If we take the blessing and we just turn it into a standard speech act mitzvah, which in ontologically is no longer different. I have to build the sukkah, that's one mitzvah. I have to say a blessing on the sukkah, that's another mitzvah. And you don't get that nice interplay between the act and the blessing upon the act, which is actually different. If the blessing just becomes another act that has to be performed, it takes away this kind of complementarity that you say. There's a difference between greeting somebody and saying, peace be upon you, because you really mean peace be upon you, and just saying, there's a mitzvah to say, peace be upon you. I've fulfilled the mitzvah. I've said, peace be upon you. Right. And you see it in Halachatet. Uh, you see the seeds of that danger. When they say, uh, no, I, I, yes. And that's the seed of just turning it into a speech act commandment, which robs it a little bit from the value that you were trying to assign to it. Yeah, I'm, 